In this video, we'll be studying the circuit of a fan regulator and after studying that circuit, we'll try to control the speed of the fan by attaching the relays to it using the Blink IT platform over internet. So let's get started. Now previously, I made the AC dimmer circuit using which I was able to control the brightness of the AC bulb. But if you attach that circuit in the ceiling fan, you'll face one problem of humming sound. Now many of my subscribers tried that circuit uh, on the ceiling fan and they faced this humming issue. And among those subscribers, there was Kedar who is my friend and who also regularly visit this studio. He also tried to install that uh, AC dimmer circuit in the fan. He faced the same problem and after that he came with a very simple yet interesting solution that uh, why not to use that same circuit uh, which is used inside the fan regulator. Just uh, make some changes in that circuit, make it internet controlled and make a dimmer out of that. So I loved his idea as it is simple yet interesting yet very very useful. So let's start our journey of making a simple fan regulator to work over internet. So I first got a new regulator from the store, disassembled it and took out its circuit part. At very first look, you will find these two capacitors whose values are 2.2 microfarad and 3.3 microfarad respectively. I deshouldered them first as to study the connections of the circuit. After deshouldering the capacitors, I just studied the connection of all the components using the multimeter. After studying it completely, I found a circuit like this. So here as you can see, we have two RC circuits which will limit the current flowing through it and the value of all the components are something like this. So here I do have a knob with 5 terminals, this 1, 2, 3, 4 and a common terminal. Now let's observe it's working on the paper. So I have a 4 speed regulator with me. So for the lowest speed, the common terminal gets connected with this pin. So now the current will flow through this path and it will result in the slowest speed. When I put the circuit to one simulation software, I found that at lowest speed the current flowing will be around 153 milliamperes. Now let's switch the knob to speed 2. In this case the current will be flowing through this path and I found that the current flowing in this path is around 229 milliamperes. Now when I switch the knob to third position, this is ultimately getting connected with the first one. As you can see, the third and the first spot are connected with each other. And secondly, when I tested the continuity on the knob, I found out that at third position, the knob is connected to both terminal 3 and 2. So with this connection, the current will be flowing through both these circuits resulting in parallel connection of both RC circuits. Now when I tested this circuit in the simulation software, the current flowing through them was around 382 milliamperes. So that's the speed 3 of fan. And for the fourth position of the knob, the current will be flowing directly to the fan regardless of any circuit in between and that's the maximum speed of your fan. And now in the off position of the knob, this common terminal is not connected with any point. So ultimately the fan will turn off. So this was my complete reverse engineering on the circuit of a fan regulator. I hope you all got the idea about how this tiny little fan regulator actually works. Now make sure you hit the like button if you really learned something new, learned something valuable from it. Now after understanding how the regulator works, let us make it to control over internet. And for that, I'll be using my ESP32 board and couple of relays. You have to connect the relays and the ESP32 board in this manner. Now here for controlling, I'll be taking the help of Blink application. So here I will create a new project with the name Fan Regulator and I will simply add a slider to it. Now just tap on the slider and select virtual pin V0. For my 4 speed control regulator, I'll put the range from 0 to 4. That's it, just click on OK. Now we are just left with the coding part. So here's the code, I'll just add my Wi-Fi credentials and authentication token which I got in my register email ID. That's it. I simply upload this code to my ESP32 board. Now by the time the code gets uploaded, let's connect the relay with the fan regulator circuit. For that, you first need to remove all the components from the PCB and connect it according to this circuit diagram. And if you don't want to waste the regulator, I will suggest you to purchase all the components separately. Now that is more convenient and more cheap solution of this. And after that, make the connection of the relay and the circuit in this manner. Now let's connect the regulator circuit with the fan. Now be very careful while playing with the AC wires. I will suggest you to turn off your mains before tweaking with the AC wires. 
So after making all the connection, now let's test our project in action. Okay, so as you can see, I'm able to control the speed of the fan using my Blink application and this project is working over internet. Okay, so I hope you got to know everything about the fan regulator circuit and how you can make your own fan regulator that works over internet. Now make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.